Villages and farms have coexisted since medieval times, with communities growing their produce on land next to them and trading or sharing excess. Jump forward to the present day and this has pretty much died out, except for one very special place here in South Australia. This is the Aldinga Arts Eco Village, home to around 400 people with a common aim, sustainability from the farm next door. Lucy O'Connell is one of the original members of the village. So I moved to the village about 10 years ago and like most other people in the village, I was growing vegetables in my backyard. But the plan within the village was always to have a productive farm that could essentially feed the village. And how did that come about then from you know, understanding that vision to scale it up and make it happen? Well, as a village, we came up with a farm plan and we knew that we needed to have a market garden as part of that farm plan. But the idea to get that off and running on volunteer labour wasn't always an idea that was going to be um, successful. Mm. So we knew that we needed to get more skills. We needed the expertise uh, and the knowledge of someone like Nat Wiseman to come in and really kick it off uh, and make it happen. So I'd been running an urban farm for a couple of years, um, right in the city, and, but it was only really small. It was only 200 square metres. So I decided to scale up um, and met Lucy, um, and we, just, we started Village Greens together. At the moment, well, when we started, it was 2,000 square metres. So it's a scaling up by a factor of 10, wow. which was a you know, big jump. Um, yep. And now we're at an acre, so 4,000 square metres. It was pretty clapped out. We had, um, it had been in horse paddock for 40 years, so there was a lot of cooch and yeah, not much fertility. I've got a background in soil chemistry, so I did a lot of tests to begin with, adding a lot of compost, uh, aerating the soil, deep ripping, adding some gypsum and, and really like setting the stage for, for productivity. So. And have you seen the soil change over that time? Yeah, we've, we've had um, tests done recently. We've had uh, organic matter has doubled in the three years that we've been farming the, the first half acre, so that's a huge improvement. The farm provides for the village with a wide variety of tasty vegetables. We have garlic to potatoes, uh, tomatoes in the greenhouse and in the field. We also have salad and cucumbers, capsicums, anything you possibly want. So if it means that if we have one crop failure, uh, we have all the rest to rely on. And how has the farm been received by the community? Well, we've had heaps of support from our local community. There's been some crops like sweet corn where there's heaps of demand, um, but maybe it's not as profitable to grow. But we still grow them because we want really that connection and that support. And how did you get to know the market? How did you get to know what they wanted? I think a bit of trial and error. Like we started off growing what we liked to grow and what we liked to eat, and then kind of refined it over time as we saw what sold and what didn't. Any excess produce is sold at a local market, but the farm's focus is on providing deliveries to the village. The farm also offers work opportunities for the locals. I love vegetables, so I love being able to be around vegetables every day and grow them and eat them and the people I work with are amazing and Nat and Lucy are great. So. And how important do you think it is for people to have this local connection where the produce is being grown within the community? Oh, it's, it's so important. I think that there's a huge disconnect from where our food comes from and the more we know the better in terms of food. And the farm is a magnet for the local children. Beads taste really yummy and yeah, and you crack them open the inside's really good for you. I sometimes sneak out and get some in the in the some beans in the morning. It's a physical relationship between the farm and the Aldinga Arts Eco Village that makes this place so unique. It's really quite rare to have your market so close to where you're producing food and it creates a new model of sustainability that's something very special. So how does it make you feel to be part of this amazing farm? It's a really lovely experience to have that real solid connection with the village and it really makes me feel great to have people coming up to us and saying how great the veggies taste and how they appreciate it being delivered to them. And it makes all the hard work worth it. Thank you.